Our gracious and merciful Holy Father, we, your children, are gathered this morning to praise and glorify your holy name. We come in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, whom you allowed to come to bless us, to guide us, to especially grant us the salvation that we need for all that the devil has tried to do to take us out of your love. We know you promise us that because of the work on Calvary's cross, we have the right to enjoy the blessings and the benefits that you give to all those who call upon you. We know we have also heard so many things about all the blessings that you have in store for us. And as we come before you, we want to commit ourselves into your hands so that your Holy Spirit will abide with us, granting us the energy and the power and the wisdom to be able to hear your word, to know your word, and especially to be able to worship you once we have read your word and known your word, because faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. And so we know that it is by hearing your word, and especially it is also studying your word, because we do want to study your word so that we may know how to worship and serve you in spirit and in truth. And we commit ourselves into your hands and all those who are also gathering to worship you, those who have already done it and those who will be worshiping you later on, that all of them and all of us will be able to glorify you and honor your holy name. It is your blessing that where two or three are gathered in your name, in your name you are already here. And so we are standing on the promises that you've already given us the blessing. Therefore, thank and praise your name to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we serve God on a daily basis, uh, we find it necessary to sort of grow in the Spirit, and the Holy Spirit helps us all to know that uh, there are certain things that we need to do as we grow in the Spirit, as we serve the Lord, as we worship you. So what we want to suggest is that every week uh, we are going to have a word of uh, proclamation and at the same time, we want to also do it on our own personal life, where when we read God's word, uh, we know what God's word says. But at the same time, we have to personalize the word of God so that whenever we are you know, going about our daily duties, we have something to, uh, to use as our the, the word of God and also to carry the whole armor of God in our lives. And uh, to begin with, I have a personal uh, proclamation which uh, we all should uh, try to adapt uh, in the sense that when we read God's word, God's word says that if you do this, I will bless you and I will do this. But when we look at... Um, uh, Bibles, we find that God is promising to bless us, and which is fine, which is great. But at the same time, we should also be able to say that I am standing on God's word and I'm claiming God's word. And so I want to use God's word in my personal life to accomplish the things that uh, I need to do. So uh, we can consider it a memory verse, but at the same time, we can also consider it a proclamation, which means we are speaking God's word to our life because God's word is speaking to our life and we have to also internalize it or add it to our life. So uh, this is the first and uh, I'm starting from the Old Testament because the Bible starts from the Old Testament and we also have the New Testament. So we are going to, uh, you know, every week by God's grace, we have a word of proclamation, which is something that when we read the God's word and we see what it says there, uh, what we have on the screen is uh, what I would call personalized. Even though uh, God is saying you, whenever God's word says you, you have to tell yourself I or uh, I will. So in God's word, we are reminding ourselves of what God's word says. So in this case, we are going to start it. So for us to read God's word, uh, you know, I will... No, it's 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 there as an example. So we are all going to stand up and we are going, going to read it just as we read God's word. And so uh, it will be a personal proclamation on ourselves and on each of us. So 
uh, we can say we, we can say I, but in any case, uh, since we are together, let us say we, all right? So we all stand up to hear and uh, to read God's word. And uh, it's given to us in uh, the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Somebody may say, uh, I wrote it myself. No, I didn't write it. God's, that's God's word. So, uh, but again, I'm starting from there and uh, we can, you know, do it. So uh, let us start. This book of the law shall not depart out of our mouth, but we shall meditate therein day and night, that we may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then we shall make our way prosperous, and then we shall have good success. Amen. All right, so this is in the King James Version. Then I have also provided the New King James so that we can also, so uh, in from going forward, we are going to just use one, but I've provided the two so that we can pick whether we use the King James. I like to use King James, uh, but just to have it easy for all of us, we have the option of using, uh, so when we read it, whether it's in King James or any other version, we have to personalize it. So let's read uh, the New King James Version and see what that says. All right, we read. This book of the law shall not depart from our mouth, but we shall meditate in it day and night, that we may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then we will make our way prosperous, and then we will have good success. Amen. Joshua 1, 8. Amen. We may be seated, please. <clears throat> 